like chapter, office intro, toilet intro, office intro, I guess. Can I skip this? I guess I can't. That's cool, we're gonna be here for a third time. Welcome to the Aperture Science Competence Center for our most gifted employees. I'm Cave Johnson, and if you're hearing this, you are exceptional. No, don't be bashful, it's true, no false modesty. Let's get started. Look at all those tubes stretching off in the distance. Ah, oh, I wish I this. I can't. Taking something important well, I can to pause now, though, so that's something. To change the world forever. Well, progress. A genius just like you. How are you going to change the world? Well, that's up to you. History will remember what you do here today. Do not let us, and by us I mean all of us, all of humanity, down. So congratulations. You are about to take part in the greatest science adventure at the greatest applied sciences company on Earth. This is important work, and you are just the genius to do it. God gave you these gifts. I'm giving you the opportunity to use them. Well, here's your lab. I don't mind telling you, we're excited up here. Moon landing excited. Newton, Einstein. Wait a minute, that's, now you. that's not right. I think I put the wrong tape in, hold on. Good luck. World's best science. Okay, here we go. You, in the overalls. Get to work, or you're fired. Dad, they don't give out overalls anymore. Anyway, my name's Grady. You can call me that. I mean, let's do introductions later. You should really already be... <sighs> Honestly, I'm surprised you're not fired already. Anyway, uh, you are a... Is that uh, ammo? Uh, that is ammo. Product inspector. Oh, thank you. That is your inspection desk. There thank in you. front of you, you will be inspecting. Uh, okay, uh, doesn't say. Anyway, something is going to come down the conveyor belt. Whatever it is, make sure. Oh, it's it works. it's working now. Once you've done that, keep doing that. Okay, so That's it it job. was just anyway, broken. Just remember, the important thing is to have fun on your own time before you come in. Otherwise, it's just I don't. It's it's real bad here. <sighs> it's fine. You'll probably be fine. Good luck. All right. Whoa. Okay. Pass. Okay. Testing at least two. This is it. <laughs> okay, doing it again, boys. That's some pretty intense gameplay, you know. Damn it! I knew it. I, I left the volume down. Hold yeah, on. Zip zap zap. That is how you inspect the toilet. I hope you were paying attention because I'm not saying any of that twice. Oh Look, shit! It's not rocket science. It's not even toilet science. Here's everything you need to know. See that light on the wall? If that light goes on, you're fired. <sighs> okay, good. You heard the important part. Wait, wait. Hold on. Have they all been smoking? You know what? It's not our job to test if the toilet's on fire, right? Just do your regular thing like normal. Move it down the line, and then it's somebody else's problem. You think your job's bad? <laughs> I mean, your job is... Do you hear that? Hold on, I'll, let me take a look. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> get out of here, please? Thank you. Can you get me out of here, please? How do I do that? Nope. I'm just wet now. No. No, 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 no. That's just pushing me deeper in. It's working. Keep doing that. I'm Ugh. Just test it. Get it out of here. <laughs> what the fuck? So, first off, I I think we're in a lot of trouble here. Now, 
I also think we're going to be rich because I think he just admitted something. Did I? Okay. Here's what the fuck's going what on? You're going to do. I'm going to go work on this in secret. Just you go back and pretend to go back to work, right? Like it's got to look good. I mean, just pretend the most you've ever. You know what? Just go back to work, actually. Yeah, that works. <laughs> I'll be back. All right. What about, is more ammo gonna fly through? I guess not. Oh, is my job over? Ah, oh, break time. Six months later, ooh, that was quick. Oh my God, dude. That's so many toilets. Hey, I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. Uh, first off, you did awesome pretending to calibrate all those toilets. The best. All right, are you ready for this? Presenting. Presenting the Aperture Science Turret. Go on, take it for a spin. The controls are right there on your desk. Yeah, and I haven't even showed you the best part. Here's the best part. Is it there? Oh shit! Shooting. You know what though? I mean, you're definitely going I to. I thought I was gonna kill him. Point at you like that. So let me just turn it around. All right, shoot again. Don't worry, it's safe. I mean, this time. This time it's safe. Last time it wasn't. Okay. Almost yeah. Died. I almost died. All right, nice. Wow! Holy moly, man! That is great. <laughs> oh man, the turret broke. That was the only one too. But don't even worry about it, because here's what I've actually been working he on. He sounds like that from Life or Dead. Ta -da! Life or Dead, I mean. Introducing the Mark II. Wow, this is quick. what I spent most of the six months on. It was one month for the first turret, and then like five for this bad boy. All right. Oh man, you gotta take my picture with this. Uh, the desk should have a camera built into it. Why does it have a? Oh, press F2. Uh, Are you taking the picture? Okay, good. Moment recorded for all the history books. Now for the fun part. You are going to take it for a spin. Here, let Am me turn I? it around. A lot okay, of guns. normally I'd walk you through everything, but I think you get it. Let's just open everything at once and see what happens. Oh, shit, what the fuck? Okay, uh, go crazy. All the wow, right? Oh, uh, this is great. This thing shoots so good. Okay, a part fell off. Keep going, though. All right, something else fell off. You can still shoot everything else. Don't even worry about it. Okay, quite a bit is falling off. Keep shooting. You're not doing this. This is a structural engineering problem. It's on me. You're doing great. I bet it's the glue. I'm 99% convinced of that. It even looked cheap when I bought it. I remember looking at it like, ah, oh, spend an extra dollar. And yep, here we are. That's a lot of damage we're doing. didn't work most yeah. of it like 90 percent or even higher maybe but <laughs> some of it worked great so all we have to do so is goofy. keep the great stuff and then we then we can so okay that's the police so one of us needs to streamline this turret right and one of us needs to take the fall for shooting up the warehouse because they're this is a lot of damage, and they're going to look into this. Which job? Which job do you want? How about I fix a turret, and then you take? Yeah, I'll do that for him. Remember, if anyone asks, you don't know me. Okay? Don't say anything. Oh wow! Oh wow! They've 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 moved up to society. 
They're evolving. What the fuck? I'm in prison now with my desk. Quite nice. Hey, well, I mean, wow, you are the best. Thanks for keeping your mouth shut and doing your time. I mean, 18 months it later. was way more time than either of us were expecting. I don't know what was in those boxes we blew up, but they were, wow, were they mad. Anyway, I promise you're not going to regret this. Now let's get you out of here. Given that the offender has faithfully observed the rules of the institution, Offender has been granted supervised early release. Please sign for your possessions. Inmate's possessions are as follows. Desk. One. Inmate must state their name, print their name, then sign their name. After the tone, state your name into the desk. Wait, why? How do I... Inmate's name is now preserved for the permanent oh. record as. Wait, what? How do I? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Now, type your name. Type your name. Moving on. Now, sign. Good enough. As a condition of supervised early release, parolee and desk I should dicked around. Within 15 days. Hey, don't listen to her. You don't need to worry about reporting to your parole officer. Guess who spent the last 18 months getting his probation agent license through the mail? Yep, me. That's right. I'm your parole officer. I mean, not just you. I'm managing like seven guys on parole right now. But... They're basically reintegrated back into society. Well, not Tony. He's struggling a little, but anyway, that's all I was doing. I got something to show you. Let's get out of here. It is never too late. Hi, to how? Bet. That was pretty you funny. Both free to go. Oh, uh, bring your desk. Oh. Okay. I streamlined the turret while you were gone, introducing the Mark III. Ta-da! So I got rid of all the parts that fell off and just kept the stuff that worked. I mean, it was totally over-engineered, so it just does one thing now. It shoots. It didn't need a satellite dish. That was just dumb. Here, try it on these appliances I found. They were just lying around in the housewares research department in, in a locked room. Okay. It's just like the Mark One. I. I like that tattoo on your neck. Did you do it yourself? It's like a—is it a dragon holding a knife? It's nice. Thanks, I have. The more I look at the tattoo, the I was more forced I think to get it. We should both have, because then we'd be tattoo bros. Anybody would look at us and know we are friends. Then you give me the same tattoo? Would that be weird? It would be weird having the same exact one. All right, I'll—I'll I'll think of one. About like a robot arm coming out of the side of my head and it's holding a wrench. So you got the dragon and the knife. And mine's similar, but more robot feet. Nice. Man, that'd be so cool. Oh, speaking of being cool, I've got something even better to show you. Gyroscopic controls. It's real easy. Just pick up the desk, tilt it around to aim. And keep that thumb on the right thumbstick. And this is mainly for the string right back. Trigger like normal. Go on, try it. How much did the tattoo hurt? You gave it to yourself. Did you have the proper tools? I would bet not actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. You probably had to heat up a pin with the lighter or something. That sounds, I mean, that sounds pretty awesome. Another tattoo idea I just had instead of a robot oh, hand over there coming screen. out holding a wrench. What if it was like a skeleton hand? You know, so you're looking at it like, what's he trying to say? Is he human on the inside, or does he have like a skeleton trapped in him? You know what? A skeleton on a tattoo. I decided that's the one I want. So when we get a free minute, I'll find a pen and we can heat up that light. <laughs> oh, 
Jesus All right. Christ. Everything checks out. This thing is perfect. I think we're good to go here. So, I was saving the best for last. But while you were in jail, I got us a <laughs> meeting to show our turret to Cave Johnson. That's right, the owner of the company. No pressure, but if he likes this, he's gonna make us rich forever. Are you ready? Let's go. Whoa. They've gone super advanced now. on fire what are you gonna do with your share of the money I know what I'm gonna do is pay off the money I borrowed to make this turret like immediately pay it off or I'll I mean whew, I'll be in some real trouble plus the big I'll have to pay that too Does it make sense to you that the VIG is more than what I borrowed in the first place? It doesn't seem like it. That's weird. Somebody overrode the controls. Hold on. What is going on? Is that a washing machine? Huh. That's one of the appliances I stole from housewares. Man, he got that turret good, huh? Good thing I brought a couple of spares. <laughs> Whoa! What the fuck is this game? I knew it! It's the housewares department. How did they find out about our turret? I can't believe it. They stole our idea, and now they're gonna kill us with it. Housewares, man. They're never gonna stop it pushing us. I mean, it's not really an ambush anymore. I know they're coming, but I don't think they're gonna stop coming though. We need to think of something else. I really think they're gonna keep coming for like basically forever. Jesus Christ, so loud too. Well, oh, let me let me turn it down. It's a little loud. There you go. Housewares, man. Can you believe it? Those guys are such pieces of. What Sorry for the loud vo loud volume. I was like, damn, this is getting pretty loud. Again, but we have another 80 floors before we get to cave. We're not gonna survive 80 ambushes in a row. Your desk should have some buttons on the underside of it. Those fire the rockets that got built into the desk. They put those on there standard now for safety reasons. So automatic desk launch sequencer engaged. Here we go. We are going to launch. Ten, nine, eight. Jesus. Whoa. Okay, really nice work. Good shooting. I think we're good from here. They probably gave up. I have given up by now. <sighs> okay. Let's go show this thing to Cave. Also, I do have one quick confession. I didn't actually get an appointment with Cave Johnson. I lied about that. Oh, but it shit. Turns out, I didn't know this. It turns out nobody's seen him in years. I did know it, 
when I lied to you about our appointment, but it was still pretty new information. Anyway, I'm not gonna lie to you anymore. <sighs> I think he might be a millionaire recluse now, so be ready for that. There might be a lot of jars. Oh man. Hello, Mr. Johnson? That's a big head. Let's just go in. Is that a statue? What's going on? Mr. Johnson, are you here? Is that a real head? Hey there. It's me, Cave Johnson. No, no, not behind the giant head. I am the giant head. I'm gonna level with you. A few years back, I got real sick. Body riddled with disease. I was a goner. Threw every dollar I had at it. Told those eggheads, hey, eggheads, make me live forever. Now, I know what you're thinking. You gave the smartest engineers on Earth a blank check to make you immortal, and this is what they came up with? A giant head? <laughs> Off by a mile. No. They figured out how to put my consciousness in a computer. That's what's in the giant head. Their first plan was to put me in a regular brain-sized computer. Then they put that in a robot body, and hey, presto. Well, turns out you can't fit an entire human mind in a computer that small. I don't know how I died. All I could do was tell time and know what my name was. So they kept making it bigger. Big enough to cram every last bit of me into this thing. What happened to my robot body? Still under the head, somewhere all crushed up. Couldn't support the weight. So the lab boys put me in the big head, switched me on, and uh, I don't know, I panicked. Killed a few of them. Said I'd kill more if they ever came back. Honestly, I, I regret that now. Anyway, that was four years ago. Been trying to get somebody's attention ever since. Get their butts up here and end my suffering. Now, don't worry about me. It's been a full life, but we're done here. I'm itching for the next step. Heck, I'm excited about it. Don't even think of it as killing me. You're breaking me out of prison. I'm just data now. I need you to crack this big clay head open so I can spill out into the universe. So, what do you two eggheads got? Uh, you, uh, you are in luck. We actually came up here to show you our new invention. Good stuff. Let's see it. Show them, partner. Oh, that'll work. We got it. I thought you could just do it with the dragon's poison. You are genius. Called us geniuses. What? You are made of metal, sir. So shoot the metal. Is it working? In the head, I can't see. It's working great, sir. It doesn't feel like it's working, but... Hey, you see that? I think that's his power source. Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. Powering down. The great beyond. Boy, I'll, I'll give you two credit. That is one hell of an invention. You did it. You figured out how to end my suffering. All right. Suffering ended in three, two. Ah. Backup power activated. Ah, shit. Uh, you're both fired. I'm gonna need your key cards. Just lay them down in front of the head. Not too close to the chin, or I won't be able to see them. Uh-oh. You know what? It just occurred to me that the only person who knows Cave Johnson asked us to kill him is now dead. Yeah. Do you know what the punishment for murder is? They told us in parole officer school, you're not gonna like this. Uh, it's life, your whole life in prison. We should, yeah, we, we, we should leave. 
Don't touch anything. And bring the desk. Morning, Charlie. It's me, Gary. Gary, your boss. Keep inspecting those toilets. Good work, good stuff. Good. Hey, it's just me, Grady. Yeah, just like yesterday. Man, this witness protection program is great. I don't know why we didn't turn state's evidence against those loan sharks in the first place. We don't have to pay any of the money back. We got cool new names. I like yours a lot, by the way. Oh, he got his, he's got his tattoo. You know. <laughs> got a statue on the side. Think they that. move us to another state or give us new jobs or something. Feels like everything is exactly they don't, the that's same. That's true. They don't offer paper bags. Except our first names. Ah, you know what? They know what they're doing. Anyway, see you tomorrow, Charlie. What is this? How is this game still going? Oh, it's what the Mantis has been making. Oh, that's it. That's the entire game. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed. Apparently, there's two endings. I guess I got the good ending. That was nice. All right. Hmm, Kawhi Dapper. That was an interesting game. That was, that was, I feel like it was less than 30 minutes. That was fun. That was a funny game. Apparently there's two innings. I have no idea how to get the second inning though. How long was this? It was 39 minutes. I was right. It was between 30 to 40 minutes. That was fun. I mean, it made me chuckle. A bit of a chuckle. I liked it. But that's going to be in the stream. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'll probably find a new game to play. To be honest, I'm gonna install that now. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't want to play next. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to follow my uh, my Twitter and my TikTok. Join my Discord down below. Subscribe to Two Motto to see uh, all my past and streams unedited. Uh, how did the uh, that place not power out? That's true. I would like. I would also like to know more about the the mantis on uh, what happened with them. But 
I guess we'll never really know. I've always asked my friend Nate, um, what are the other endings, and give his, get his opinion on it. But yeah, that was fun. I enjoyed it. Maybe a couple of quick laughs, you know. Pretty nice. It was a free game, by the way. It's free. You guys want to check it out? Um, but yeah, I guess uh, guess have a great night. Thanks for uh, stopping by and having some fat, uh, having some um, some laughs. Uh, thank you for everyone who donated. You know, I appreciate that. Yeah, you guys have a fantastic night. I'll catch you later. Uh, I'm probably gonna upload the uh, the VR chat um, uh, sometime today. The VR chat uh, tier list stream sometime today on my second channel. And new video tomorrow. Make sure you guys check that out. All right.